Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, I am filming a spring home decor haul. I was not expecting to actually be filming this video because I wasn't planning on buying as much stuff as I did, but I walked into Dollar Tree this morning and they had so many spring items that I am so, so excited to use and decorate my house with. I have a newfound love of spring decor. Spring has never been my favorite season, but since owning a bunny, which is really weird, but since owning a bunny, she has triggered my love for like spring decor because there's always bunnies on it. It's very like cottage core vibes. I love the flowers. I love everything about spring decor. So I'm very excited to show you everything. Everything I'm showing you today is from the Dollar Tree and Five Below. I spent uh, about $60 on all of this stuff that I'm showing you today which is pretty amazing considering how much stuff that I got. And of course the dogs started eating their food in the background like they do every video. So enjoy that show back there if you wanna watch them. But yeah, I just got like a bunch of cute stuff, um, Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has actually turned from a dollar to a dollar 25. And then they also added some $3, $5, $10 stuff. So it's not even really a Dollar Tree anymore. It's more like a Dollar General. This is stuff from the Dollar Tree and everything was a dollar 25. And then I think I got a couple $3 and $5 thing. So first from the Dollar Tree, I just got a bunch of fake flowers because I am not amazing at keeping plants alive. And I also am just too nervous about getting flowers that my cats would accidentally ingest and it poison them and stuff like that. So I tend to buy just these fake ones from the Dollar Tree. And I like to put them in like a little bouquet like this. So I got some oranges and greens that I thought looked really pretty together. I know everybody's taste is different, but I think these all look really pretty. I didn't want to get too much color because the theme I'm really going for in this house is just greens, golds, blacks, and some like boho type designs. So I think this is going to look really pretty for the entryway. And um, one of the next videos you guys are going to see is me revamping and redecorating the entryway to my house. So a lot of these things are going to be used in the next video that you guys will see. Next, I got this really cute welcome sign. It's pink, it's glittery, and it has a bunny on it. And it was $1.25, so why not? Don't know where I'm going to hang this yet. At first I was gonna hang it on my front door, but then there was another thing that I got that was literally just amazing, so. Then they had a bunch of these grow kits. And I know sometimes these kits are kind of hit or miss, but I do find them extremely fun. So if you guys want me to do a vlog of me like planting flowers in my new house and like maybe growing some flowers, I would love to do that. So this is a daisy grow kit. It comes with like the soil and the seeds and everything. And then we have a coneflower grow kit and a sunflower one. I tried to grow sunflowers last year, but I started a little bit too late. So yeah, I bought these three grow kits to try. Very excited for those. And Dollar Tree has tons of flower seeds there. Like they have a whole section just full of gardening stuff. And I definitely wanna go back there and get a lot more gardening stuff when I start doing more gardening in my front yard because I do have a garden out there. Then we have this sign right here that says every bunny welcome. And this is actually going to be hung up in my pet room. A lot of the stuff that I'm showing you guys today is stuff that is going to be used in my spring cage decor video for my pet channel. This is gonna go in the room with my bunny. It's so cute. I don't know, it would look really cheesy for some people, but I feel like it would look really cute in a room with a bunch of animals. So I'm very excited for that. Then I got two blankets. So these were both in the $5 section. These are some printed plush throws. Don't know what kind of material it is. I don't think it's fleece. It's like a cotton material. So I got this one with bunnies on it. And then I got this one with some plaid designs on it. And I got it to put on this couch over here. I still have my Christmas blankets on this couch. So it's time to replace it with the season that's actually happening right now. And these were super cheap, so. Then I got this really pretty vase or boss. I don't really know how you say that vase to put these flowers in, to put in the entryway. Love the shape of this. Dollar Tree has so many cute shaped vases. It's so cute. So I got that for those. Okay, then I got this hummingbird feeder. So I've actually never used a hummingbird feeder before. I don't even really know that much about hummingbirds. I would like to do some more research on them as animals just to kind of educate myself a little bit more. But I wanted to get one because I've always wanted to have one. 
And there was also this hummingbird nectar that you put inside of the feeder. I'm not going to put it out yet until I do more research because you never know if this stuff is actually that safe for hummingbirds because stores tend to sell stuff that's not actually safe for the animal that they intend it to be for. So I will research it, but I just love hummingbird feeders and I love hummingbirds. I think they're so pretty. And in the gardening section, they had these mushrooms. So I got this green one. They had a bunch of different colors, but I got more earth tones. They had like pinks and purples and stuff. And then I got this brown one. They're super heavy. Um, they were in the gardening section with like the little garden gnomes and lanterns and stuff like that. So you could put these outside in your garden if you want to, but I'm just going to use these as decor inside the house. And then I got another one of these cute little fairy doors. I bought some other ones last time I went and I absolutely love them. So I needed to get some more of them. Then I got two sheets of these window clings to put in the pet room window for the spring video. So I got these because I love the colors and I just love the big bunny one. Honestly, I'm gonna try to see if these will stick to my wall too. I'm not sure if they will though, but I got these for the pet video. I think this is Gabe's favorite. He found this in the store. These are little Easter eggs. It's just so cute. Like how do people not like, like I don't like Easter stuff that has like Bible verses and stuff like that. I tried not to get anything that said Easter on it because I wanna be able to use this stuff um, for more than just Easter. But these are just so adorable for a dollar. We have this sign right here that says every bunny welcome. I know I got a bunch of welcome signs, which probably not the brightest of me because there's only one front door, but I just, I thought it was so cute. It's like little feet hang down. It's so adorable. I got this one, I think, to put on my front door. I want to get like a really big extra wreath for my front door for spring, but they're very expensive. So I got this for right now. It says, welcome friends. It's really cute. They also had ones that said like happy Easter and stuff. But like I said, I didn't really want an Easter one. And then I got three of these little signs. So I'm not really into the whole like farmhouse look at all really, but I do really like it when it has like bunnies and bunny themed stuff on it. So this first one is the pick your own carrot patch. Fruits, herbs, and veggies um, farm fresh daily is this first one. And these are just little really nice quality. This one, I don't know if this one's my favorite or the other one, but this is Cottontail Company Easter Egg Farm. Fill your basket open daily. And then this one is Hippity Hops Carrot Patch, organic locally grown. And I just figured these would look so pretty hung on the pet room wall. I would honestly, I'm just probably gonna keep these up all year round. Maybe not the Easter one, but this one's definitely gonna be hung up all year round because it's so pretty. Okay, that was all of the Dollar Tree stuff. Now I'm going to show you the one thing that I got at Target. My original plan was to go to Target to get some of their spring stuff because I've been seeing pictures of their spring line from Target and it is incredibly beautiful, but I know that Target's a little bit more expensive than these other places and I already had spent so much money at Dollar Tree and Five Below, so I decided to not even go look at the spring decor because I didn't even want to tempt myself. But they do have a dollar section at Target and there was a, some cute Easter stuff in the dollar section. I only got one thing, I'm very proud of myself. There was tons of cute stuff in the dollar section. So I just got these like ceramic bunnies and I got them for just like little decor little subtle decor pieces. They're just so cute. They were $3 for these two little ceramic bunnies. All right, and now lastly, we have the stuff that I got at Five Below. If you guys don't know what Five Below is, it's a store where everything in the store mostly is $5 and below. They do have a Beyond section that has like $10, $20 stuff. The whole store is very cheap, so. I love going in there and I love their decor. It's very boho and I love boho. So firstly, for the entryway of my house, I got this cotton jute rug. I figured this would be a nice material for an entryway rug because it's really rough and it looks like it would wash really easily. This is mainly just for decoration, but I do really like the color as well. This is kind of the color that I'm going for when it comes to a rug. I wanna get a rug with this color, maybe a little bit more gray for underneath this couch eventually. So I really like this and this was $5. Then I got this two tier metal bracket shelf for $5. It's like gold. It's really nice. I got this for the entryway as well. I want to hang it in the little 
you can't see back there, but there's like a little blank wall and I want to hang stuff. Then I got this fake cactus. I love cactuses or cacti. I said that wrong, it's cacti. I love cacti, I, it's literally just so unique. And this looks pretty real to me. Like I feel like it looks really real and I really like the way that it looked. And this was $5. I bought some more fake cacti. I like these even more. This is a three pack of like little mini cacti. And this was also $5. And then lastly, we have a cactus grow kit. But the only reason I bought this really is because I liked this little pot right here. This was, I think $5. It was either three or $5, but it comes with the little soil that you put water on. And it also comes with the cactus all kind mixed seeds. So they had a bunch of grow kits at Five Below as well, but I literally just bought it for this little little pot. Like that's all I wanted was this little pot, but I'm still gonna try to grow some cacti with it because I'm very excited for that. Okay, so that was everything. There's so much stuff <laughs> that I bought from Dollar Tree Five Below and Target today. I hope this video was a bit interesting and it keeps you guys kind of on a budget if you wanted to try to find some cute home decor for cheap. So I have a house now, I can actually, I can finally feel like I can buy home decor and actually decorate this place to how I want it. Whereas before in my apartment, I just felt like I never really had the space to be able to even decorate. So I'm very happy that I can just get this cute little cheap stuff to decorate my house, but it also still look really nice. So stay tuned for my next decoration video where I'm going to be redoing the entryway to my house. And I only have a couple more things that I need to do in this house. I need to get a whole dining room set and finish decorating my dining room. I need to get like a rug and finish decorating the living room. And then I need to finish decorating my bedroom. Those are the three big things that I still need to do in this house. And all the other things I finished, like my two pet rooms and my office, I have finished already. I do have a video on my reading channel of what my office slash library came out to look like, and I'm very proud of it. So I'll put a link for my reading channel down below if you'd like to see my office tour. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. I do have a Patreon down below if you guys would like to support me on a separate space. You get early access videos, exclusive content. You get joined into a Discord community. It's a really nice time. But I also have my social medias down below where I keep you guys updated on future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.